Hello. Um, before I start this video, I should probably say I do still have some of my 2019 calendars available. I'm terrible at plugging my own stuff. Um, but I've done two calendars this year. I've done a Cumbria one, uh, so that features photos from Carlisle, uh, the Lake District, and I've done a general travel calendar. So that's got um, photos from my travels over the last 12 months. So there's photos of the Northern Lights in Norway, uh, photos from France, Orkney, and other places as well. Uh, so there's not many left, um, but there is still some available. So if you're interested, head to my sh uh, head to my website now. I probably should have plugged my calendar about four or five videos ago, but never mind. Uh, as for this video, a couple of years ago, when I went to the photography show in Birmingham, uh, I was at a talk by this girl who I remember her saying that on her days off she likes to go to the train station, uh, go to the ticket machine and just close her eyes and you know just hit the machine and uh, whatever place she she clicks on that's where she goes so totally random and she said you know that helps sort of spur her creativity kind of gets you out somewhere new you know we often get bored sort of photographing our home you know our own backyard all the time so i think just doing that is a great way to get you out in somewhere new and just go somewhere random and then try and photograph it and things i think it's a really really good idea um yeah having said that i've never actually done it until now so that's what i'm gonna do uh, it is the saturday before christmas so it might be a bit manic today but it should be interesting no idea where i'm gonna end up so that'll be fun so yeah let's see what happens oh and since it is the saturday before christmas i think we'll have a bit of christmasy music for this video It's a long time coming I'm so glad we made it here You and me So here's to another year Another chance to do better So let's Glasgow. Um, I have to admit, I did cheat a little bit. Uh, I had three attempts at it. First time I'd done it, it landed on London, uh, which was going to cost me £130. I'm not spending that. And plus, I do have to return to Carlisle today, so it would have been a six and a half hour round trip. So I would have went down to London and then had to get on the train straight back again because uh, my mum is arriving today as well from London, funnily enough, or just outside of London. Um, as much as I would have loved to have visited London, that wasn't actually practical. Um, second time I'd done it, I landed on Hexham, which would have been fine. That's not too far away and it would have been nice to visit Hexham, I've never been to it before. However, I checked and the next train to Hexham was like another three hours time, so that was pointless as well. So I tried it the third time and it landed on Glasgow. So, and it was only £17 return as well, which is pretty good. So. So Glasgow, here I come. So let's wish a Merry Christmas to all on this turning street. Christmas, Yeah, you know. On this jingle bell sleigh ride. Jingle bell sleigh ride. Around the sun, we all 
first things first, it's going to be really adventurous and get some breakfast because I'm starving. Right, I'm gonna leave the Christmas fair now, Christmas market, and walk around the city centre for a little while before I have to head back. I am really pleased to get to the Christmas market though because Carlisle, my home city, uh, doesn't have any Christmas market. It really doesn't have anything going on at all and it hasn't feel, felt like Christmas. So it's really nice to get to a Christmas market, feel a bit festive right before Christmas and really good practice for my street photography as well. I don't practice my street photography a lot, so it's been good to practice taking photos here in a crowded place. And it's actually it's really really difficult, really challenging. Markets are a good place to practice. Really challenging though because uh, you, you can, you're walking around and you can quickly see a shot, but then by the time you raise your camera, either the moment's gone or you raise your camera but there's other people in the way and just sort of moving in and out of people to try and get the shot that you want and things like that. Really good practice, challenging but a lot of fun and uh, it's been good to do that. Now maybe I'm getting old, but why does a shop need to turn into a nightclub for? Can I get these in a size 10 please? What? Can I get these in a size 10 please? Right, I better head back now anyway. Um, on a normal day I would stay longer, but I have to be back home because my mum is arriving later this evening and I need to pick her up from the train station. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun here in Glasgow and I'll be doing this again in the future so let me know where you ended up on your random adventures uh, but thank you very much for watching this video and hope to see you in the next one bye